Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called all elements in two binary search trees. So we have been given two binary search trees and we need to return a list that contains all the integers from both the trees that sorted in the ascending order. So let's do this. Let's try to understand this first example from the whiteboard. So this is like first binary search tree and this is second binary search tree. And if you observe here, in the binary search tree, the left node is less than the root and right node is the greater than the root. Okay. So let's see if I build the list from this binary search tree, then I will be able to build one to four. For example, hypothetically, if I go to the left side and then go to the root and then if, if I go to the right. So this is like in order traversal. Okay. In order means left and then root and then right. Similarly, here also 0, 1, 3. Right. This is also in order from this binary search trees what I can do once I get these list I can just basically sort these list or what uh, this is like one way right one way basically uh, I can take one output right I can take one output I can just do the traversing traversing of both binary trees I can fill whatever in the binary search trees right 0 1 3 so this is my list and what I can do I can just use the sort built-in method and then this sort method will be sorting this list and then I can return the output. So this is like pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and code this first and then we will see that what improvement we can do. Okay. So list integer. This is the result. New link list here. Okay. All right. So now what we can do, we can just... Uh, create one method that's called traverse here root one and we can pass root one another traverse I mean the same method not the another method but the same method just to call the same method for root two as well so root one res and root two res and let's say we these methods are filling res right the same way so this res will be filled with these traverse method and then we have the built-in method that we can that we can use collections.sort and that can sort our this list right because list is also a type of collection itself and we can go ahead and return res okay now what we need to do we need to implement this traverse method and then how we can implement this so we can what we can do we can have the base condition if root is null then let's go ahead and return don't do anything otherwise in res we can start to add we can add our root dot well okay otherwise just go ahead and do the same thing for left child and do the same thing for the right child right so what it will do whenever it will find first root right let's say for this root one it will add root to the uh, output list that is rest in this case and then it will traverse to the left side left side is one and then it will again come to the basically here root is not null and then it will add one as well and when once one left is null right if one left is null it will hit the base condition it will return from here itself and then it will check the right side right side one right is also null right so it will again hit the base condition and then it will go to the root and left side we already traversed and then basically uh, it will go to the right side right so after hitting the base condition left side we already traversed it will go to the right side and it is root dot right is four so it will go ahead and add four after executing this statement res dot add and then after four it will check okay what is root dot left that is null it will hit the base condition root dot right is null that will it will hit the hit the base condition but till the time we traverse the whole tree right so we will fill basically two one four in this manner so basically it is kind of the pre-order thing pre-order means we are um, first recording root and then left and right right but it really does not matter it's like theoretical terms here in order pre-order it really does not matter to know pre-order in order or post-order in this particular problem this is just uh, to learn like how to solve this problem first of all okay rather than going to the theoretical part 
all right once we build this res for both the routes we are just simply sorting this so let's see i think output is correct the complexity wise basically it will be uh, we are traversing both the trees so let's say one tree contains m node and another tree contains n node then it would be m plus n and then log m plus n itself right because we are doing the sorting here okay and what would be the space complexity here space complexity also we are using here the recursion itself so basically it would be m plus n right because in the worst case it had to maintain the implicit stack for both the trees right so it is if m nodes and then for another tree for the n node so it would be m plus n let's go ahead and try to submit and let's see if it is working or not if it is working then what we can do we can try to improve the complexity little bit right so what we can do we can at least uh, we can try to improve like from the log complexity to the linear complexity that is m plus n now the question arises how we are going to do that okay so here we are dependent on the built-in sort method right and if we are not dependent let's say we are don't having that capability right or uh, we are asked that okay let's not use the sort method then how we are going to solve this problem right so here now let's observe these binary search trees right so in the binary search tree the left part that is the smallest number right among all other numbers what does that mean we can take any any other additional data structure where we can put this number a smallest number on the top on the top means on the basically where we can access it easily right on the very first basis so that data structure i can think of the stack why stack so because uh, in the stack i will insert the root first of all and then from the root i can go left and then basically left will be on the top so if i maintain that stack then it will be two and one in this case right and then what will happen so basically this is the stack two and then one for this particular binary search tree similarly if i maintain another stack for the second binary search tree then it will be basically root is one and then left side is zero okay and then basically i can take two step two stacks here okay and then i check okay what is on the top of my stack so basically one is there and then zero is there i will compare these both the values if because the stack is not empty right so i will check both the values okay what is the lesser so zero is the lesser then in res i will uh, put zero right so let's say this is my result okay so i put zero here and zero i popped up basically now i will check there is no left and right because this is the leaf node right but if there is any left and right if there is specifically any right child then i need to insert right child here as well why because the next smallest element would be the right child of this and we will understand this as well so don't worry about that for now and now let's see uh, what is on the top of this stack is one and this stack on top of this stack is also one so it does not matter we can take any let's say i am taking from this stack and that is one so i popped up from this stack one and that is for the my first binary search tree okay and this is also leaf node so i don't have to insert anything further now i am having two and one in the both the stacks and one is lesser than two so obviously i will pop up this i will pop one and i will insert this to my list one and after that one after after uh, popping up one this is the one for the second binary search tree and i still have the right child here so what i would do i will insert right child after popping up one why i will insert right child the reason of that i as i explained earlier this right child will be the next smallest element so if you will see here the smallest element is zero that is on the left side and for one next smallest element would be on the right side that is three here right so that's why i need to insert basically the right child so i already inserted here right child that is 3 on the stack now i will compare okay what is on the top of the stack that is 3 and 2 what is smaller 2 is smaller so i will pop 2 here and i will insert into my result list okay now i will check okay 2 is my binary search tree what is on the right side right side is still 4 right so i will go ahead and insert 4 
onto my stack onto my first stack this is first stack and this is second stack okay so i will insert 4 to my first stack and i will again compare okay what is the minimum out of 4 and 3 3 is minimum so i will go ahead and insert 3 to my output list and i will pop 3 as well from the second stack and i will check okay this is leaf node there is no left and right so i cannot insert anything and then i will again come i will check okay my stack 2 is empty so i cannot use stack 2 then i will go ahead and uh, use stack 1 i will pop 4 as well and i will insert it here so this is my final sorted list so i hope the idea is clear at very high level if it is clear at high level then it's fine i will go ahead and create couple of placeholders here and then we can go from there okay so let me reset this code let me create couple of placeholders and then the picture might be a little bit more clear so let's go ahead and first uh, declare our uh, result list here so result link list okay now let's take two stack as we discussed here right so these stack let's say they are holding our tree node so stack one new stack here and stack two tree node stack two equals to new stack all right now go ahead and uh, push left okay push left because why we are doing push left all the way left because left is the smallest element and we want to get that left on the top of the stack right so we will insert two and then we will insert one then basically stack works in the last in first out so that's why one will be on the top and that's what we want to do that right because we are using the sorting basically here all right so root one and uh, stack one all right similarly let's do this as well post left the same method we can use post left and then root two and then stack two okay and uh, let's quickly implement this post left method as well that's uh, pretty straightforward that's pretty intuitive so post left will post all the values basically all the node values that are on the left side of the root so let's go ahead and do that three node root stack tree node stack all right so let's check if while root is not equals to null then what we are going to do is stack dot push root root equals to root dot left that's it okay now what we can do we can have another while loop why another while loop we can just check like if stack one is not empty or stack two is not empty so that we can basically try to pop from these stacks right and why i am using or here because uh, because of the last condition so in the last condition we saw here that four was this stack one was not empty it was having four and this stack two we already emptied right so there will be some situations where one stack will be empty and another stack will not be empty right so in, we need to deal those situations as well so that's why we i am using or here right so stack two is also not empty so if stack one is not empty or stack two is not empty then basically what i need to do i am just taking here the eligible stack what does that mean eligible stack means i will choose that which stack i need to choose whether stack one or stack two so let's say hypothetically if my stack one is empty right then what i can do my stack would be stack two right once i find my eligible stack then only i can uh build my sorted list right otherwise i cannot do and let's say if my stack 2 is empty then i need to consider stack 1 as a valid stack right else so this is the situation where stack 1 and stack 2 both are not empty now what i need to do i need to choose the stack that is having the smallest smaller element in comparative in comparison to the next other stack right so that's what i would do so what i would do is stack equals to if stack one dot peak dot well if it is less than stack two dot peak 
out well then this is ternary operator so if this condition is true then i need to take stack one otherwise i need to take stack two we can use if else as well here but this is a little uh like little convenient here so if this condition is true stack one uh, value is less than stack two then basically we are choosing stack one because that is keeping the smaller value rather than stack two and if this condition is not true it means stack two is having the smaller value and by the way this is the else condition where stack one and stack two both are not empty all right so now we choose successfully that which stack we need to choose now let's go ahead and do this post left as well and even before push left what we can do we can uh, get this tree node node equals to stack dot pop right so this node value we need to build in our output list right that's what we were doing right we were choosing okay what is the smaller value and then we were building in our output list right that's what exactly we were doing and in some situation if the right child is still there then we are inserting that right child as well for the fur further iteration okay so let's go ahead and do that this is node and then this is node dot right actually because this is the next smallest element and the stack itself so that's what we did okay after this let's go ahead and return res so now we are done okay and by the way this push left and the same concept we are using in another problem that's called binary search tree iterator as well that is the design problem but the concept is exactly same here so for reference let's feel free to refer that video as well i already have that video that's called bst iterator or binary search tree iterator but that will give you the idea that how why we are using this node dot right concept and why we are going to extremely left if it is still not clear from here if it is clear then it's fine but uh, i will still go through that video because that is pretty similar and that's also a uh, pretty important design uh, problem all right so let's figure out the compilation error and if there is any let's correct but there is not any compilation error so again here the time complexity wise it would be m plus n right because it will be linear we are still traversing all the nodes from first tree and second tree a space complexity would will still be m plus n because we are maintaining the stack here so it will be m plus n but at least we are better from the complexity perspective here all right so now let's do this let's go ahead and try to submit and uh, once it works then basically we can just okay so this is working and uh, runtime is also slightly better than the earlier one so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, quickly dry run another uh, example here as well just to build our uh, concept here again so let's see i am having these two stacks here as well okay and this is by the way this example this is the last example example five so what i would do i will start from this tree node and then i will insert one here only one because i don't have any left side right so i will insert one and in the second tree i will insert eight because i don't okay so this guy is having left right so i will insert eight and then i will insert one here as well right because i can go left and one is the smallest and now i think it might be pretty clear that why we are using a stack so if we see here one is the smallest element that is on the top of the stack and that's why we are using we are leveraging the power of a stack here so that we can have the smallest element on the top of the stack all right so uh, now what we can do we can say okay both the stacks are not not empty let's compare what are the top of the stacks in both the stacks and which one is smaller so in this case it does not matter because both are equal let's let's see that i popped hypothetically this stack i can pop this stack as well it really does not matter because uh, it can be any anything right because we are using here the condition is if stack one is less than stack two well then we are using stack one otherwise we are using stack two so basically as per this condition it is not less than it is equal so it should go to the stack two so let's go ahead and stick with our condition so let's go ahead and pull this guy okay but it really does not matter we can pull from first stack as well because they are equal right it really depends upon our condition in the code so if we popped basically this stack so our res means the result would have one here 
okay so this is basically this binary search tree and one does not have any right chat so we are not further inserting anything else in the second stack so this is stack number two and this is stack number one okay all right so now we will again compare both the stacks so this is one and this is eight okay so we will pop basically one because one is smaller than eight so we will build in our output list that is the result okay and uh, once we pull one from the first binary search tree it is still having the right child so what we will do we will insert eight to the first stack okay and now we will compare again eight with the eight so both they both are equal so let's say let's see that we are pulling eight from the second stack and then we are inserting to the binary uh, we are inserting to our output list right and then we will see okay this is the second binary search tree there is no out there is no right child this is null right so this is null we cannot insert anything to the stack further now in this situation what is there we will check okay my stack one is not empty right but stack two is empty so my eligible stack is this guy so remember we are having this condition if stack one is empty then let's take stack two if stack two is empty then let's take stack one so in this case case stack two is empty so stack one will be eligible now stack one what is in stack one that is eight so we will build result list that is eight we will insert this to the eight and further it does not have any left child right child and we already traversed all these both binary trees and we build our output list as well so this was the overview of this problem so hopefully this makes sense and it might be helpful if there is still any confusion or anything just feel free to let me know otherwise thanks a lot have a good one bye